Well, welcome back to the garage. You want to see some bullshit? We'll show you some bullshit. <sighs> nothing pisses me off more. And not much pisses me off, mind you. But nothing pisses me off more than crap. Just when people, companies, manufacturers just make junk. And I, I just, I can't wrap my head around it. I, I'm doing a brake job on this Ford Taurus. And the fucking thing, it's a 2002. It's got 40,000 miles on it. Oh, let's check. Let's see. How many miles does it have on it? Huh. 42. Ooh, look at that. 42,000. I bought it. Well, I didn't buy it. It was a, my grandmother's car. It was gifted to me. And I'm grateful to have it. You don't have to take it the wrong way here. It had 20,000 miles on it. It was kept in a garage its entire life. Things never seen snow. At least not that I know of. I've driven it maybe a dozen times in the snow. It's a grocery getter. I drive it on Saturdays when I'm going out somewhere and I need a nice car. It's like a backup car for the farm here. We got, got this Jetta here and a couple other cars and when I need to do mechanical repairs on those, I drive this. You know, go and get parts at the store. And uh, I'm not complaining that I have to do brake lines on it. Every car needs brake lines every once in a while. But I just, I crawled under here and I'll show you. I'll show you. It's, it's absolutely unbelievable. This, this plastic piece here, mind you. I see this car's got a little bit of rust here forming. You know, no big deal. 20,000 miles, 10 years old. Whatever, well, 14 now, 2002. Hey, I'll come under here. Let's see what we can see here. The whole underside, the belly pan, the floor pan, if you want to call it that, is completely just, I mean, it's getting, it's getting rusted out. Okay. You know, the first thing I noticed was, obviously the brake lines were tucked up against this this back piece here with these clips you know these plastic clips but this whole piece down here the shit crumbles in your hand just oh god I can get the camera to look at that just fuck this is like part of the fucking frame of the car you know this plastic piece was supposed to be fucking pinned to that and look at that that is fucking unbelievable it's part of the fucking car, just rust falling out of here. I mean, what the fuck? You know, and at first if you didn't think that was bad, okay. You know, everything. It's just, you know, it's it's rusty, okay. And then I, I, just, I noticed uh, that my transmission pan, so I saw some oil on this pan up here. Ah, excuse me, oh, I got it. This transmission pan, I rub my finger on here. What is this? Fucking tranny fluid. Why? Probably because this pan is probably rusted out on one side or another. Oh, and if that wasn't the real kicker, check out this awesome exhaust clamp. Oh yeah, that's completely gone. Like, that used to be a clamp with a bolt, you know, two bolts fucking clamping it together. It's, at least it's freaking rusted to the pipe. You know, I ain't going anywhere. <laughs> but the whole bottom part of the clamp is gone. It's fucking gone. I mean, everything's rust. Uh, it just, it makes me, it makes me angry. It makes me physically sick to crawl under here and see this fucking trash. They pass for a fucking car. Ford, I'm surprised somebody hasn't sued your dumb ass for building such fucking garbage. You know? You say, oh, well, man, it's a, that's a Ford for you. You're driving it northeast Ohio. What do you expect? I don't know. I expect not fucking garbage. This car right here, okay, this car is not perfect, but, you know, this is an 05 Jetta, all right? This car, you crawl under here, the car is completely undercoated. 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 Say it with me. Undercoated. Look at that silver undercoating. It's still still rust free all of it the exhaust fine perfect you know how many miles this car has on it Two hundred thousand. yeah that's right say it with me Two hundred thousand. 
Okay, some of the metal pieces are a little bit getting a little rusted, okay? Getting a little bit of surface rust on them. And some of the some of the undercoating here on the other side. Okay, some of it's peeled off. It must have got damaged. You know, I think I think the car was in a ditch one time in its life. Okay. And maybe that's why this piece here, this undercoating. Some people don't even know what undercoating is. They've never heard of it. Like Ford, never heard of it. They don't know what that is. Maybe that's when that came off. Maybe that's why this metal piece here has got some rust on it. Okay, but it's not crumbling in my hand. Okay, this undercoating, it came loose. You know, I'll give it to him. That's not a huge deal. But the rest of the car, fine. The heat shield on the exhaust. Oh, did you see a heat shield on the exhaust on the Ford? No, you know why? Because I fucking tore it off because it fucking rusted off. <laughs> The Jetta, 200,000 miles. I drive that car all the fucking time. It's got snow tires on it. Blizz Axe, okay? Fucking drive the shit out of it. Is it perfect? No. What's not perfect about it? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the fact that the fucking dome lights don't come on when you open the doors. <sighs> whoop de doo right? Okay, I got the battery out right now, too, anyway. But the dome lights don't work when you open the doors. The interior lights. The other Jetta, over there. That car. You know what the history of that car is? <laughs> okay, the windows don't roll down in that car. But that's a simple fix. Probably a bad power wire on the door switches. If you put the key in the door, do you know if you put the key in the door and you turn the key so the door unlocks and you hold it, the windows will roll down? That means the window motors in that work, but the switches don't. So maybe I need a new switchboard or maybe one of the power wires is kinked or something. You know? But other than that, that car was a 1.8 gas potty that some guy in Hawaii, you know, bought, drove it through Oklahoma, lived in the States, and we put a TDI in it. That body's fucking flawless, no rust on it at all. That's an 03 body. This car is an 05 body. This was driven in Chesterland every day of its life, 200,000 miles from back and forth to Hopkins Airport, rain or shine. This car's got no rust on it, hardly. The biggest rust spots it's got is up here on the window, which I may have to fix, and on the back hatch. Okay, right there, a little bit of rust. I mean, it's bubbling and everything, but the whole underside of the car, completely rust-free. This car, fucking thing's crumbling in my hand. Has 20,000 miles on it. Brake lines, oh, and don't forget, don't even get me started. Brake lines on this Jetta, are completely coated. They have a plastic coating on them front to back. Never been touched. Fucking factory brake lines on this car. This car is 10 years old. This car? No, no way. This car, I think I even did brake lines on this once before already. It's just, oh, it's just, it's enraging. It's maddening. I just can't even handle it. Oh, don't even make me pop the hood. Okay. No, granted, granted, you know, we could. You could, uh, you could argue me on this, but this car is sitting here because a motor mount broke. That's no fun. But you know what? I'm going to tell you what. The motor mount was broken for two days before I figured it out. And the car ran and drove. It made a horrendous squealing noise because the timing belt, pow, the whole motor shifted into the car and the idler pulley, the tensioner pulley on the timing belt down here is rubbing into this motor mount, okay? But other than that, the car still runs and drives. The timing belt's still tight, still fucking turning the cam. Nothing broke. This engine compartment, it's dirty. It's got some, it's got some dust. There's no rust in here. This motor is no rust. Little bit of corrosion on some of the aluminum pieces in here the alternator you know this car probably has the original fucking alternator in it i haven't done anything to this car i had to put a new cam in it okay that's that's the downside of a Volkswagen. they put in a shitty cam into the fucking bew engine and it wore out probably because they weren't using the right oil and the cam lobes wore down a little bit and it loses compression new cam champ what do you fucking do this car I, I put a new starter in it last year because it fucking died. You know.
Look at that block. Look at that block. That block is rusted. Probably, I'm be surprised. There's rust over here in the, this corner on all this stuff. This engine bay is never gotten that dirty. Okay. All this stuff. This this shit's probably gonna rust out. This whole fucking shock tower is probably gonna fucking pop off or some shit while I'm driving down the road one day. Oh, and the other reason it didn't get driven last winter was because the freaking spring. This, this is a brand new piece. This thing fucking shattered in half and fucking ripped my fucking tire open in the driveway. I just went to move the car 10 fucking feet so I could plow the snow off the driveway and the fucking spring broke and fucking, the fucking sharp ass piece of string fucking shredded the inside of my tire right off the rim. Oh yeah, how do you like that for engineering? Good job, Ford. Fucking retards. I swear to God, can't build nothing with crap. Your fucking Ford trucks are junk. They fucking rust apart. The last fucking plow truck that I had that I bought, I bought a used 97 F-250, white with a Myers plow on it. That truck, complete rust bucket by now. Oh, we trashed it. We had it hauled off to the junkyard and they took it. I put two axles in that truck. The fucking hollow I-beam axle in the front fucking cracked in half. Pulled the fucking axle shaft and the bearings on the hub completely through the hub because the axle was bending in half and there was no give uh and then the transmission on that truck the freaking the transmission plug that plugs into the transmission was sitting in a pool of salt and so the wires and the pins were all corroded in that and they fucking the truck wouldn't even fucking run i mean it was like hit or miss sometimes it would run great and then it would run like shit wouldn't even get out of its own way you'd be plowing snow and the thing would just be like wouldn't wouldn't fucking move you take it drive it straight to the transmission shop the mechanic would get in it take it for a test drive thing run like a top thought we were fucking nuts i had to do that it took him like two weeks to figure out what was wrong with that truck after we had it towed there because the thing quit running in my driveway blowing fucking flames out the exhaust because the thing was running so fucking rich because just the wires were all short circuiting and the it was just screwing with the computer in the fucking truck because the transmission plug there's a female piece that's in the transmission and then a male plug that goes down into it and it was just it would just collect salt water from the from the fucking roads and it, it was just unbelievable un fucking believable never changed that design by the way as far as i know on the e4ods never never and we thought, huh, maybe we should do it the other way around. Maybe we should put the cup end on the top so that way the water goes down. You know, it would have been smart. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know who thought of this shit. I had to fuck it. After I had it in the transmission shop two times for the same problem to have them fix it, I finally got wise. Because, you know, the second time, you think, oh, well, we had it fixed once. It can't be the same issue. Oh, sure. You think it can't be the same issue. It was the same issue. After I spent like $1,200 every time having them fucking go through the entire, all the wires and diagnostics and you name it to find out where the fucking, what the fucking problem was. They didn't even know why the truck was running like shit. <laughs> Until they found that plug. You know, I finally got wise and I started every time that truck would have a hiccup. I would crawl under there, I'd pull the harness off, I'd pull back all the tape and all the wire wrap and everything on it and I would splice in new, a new plug dielectric grease rewire it silicone the cap and the plug back on i never had a problem after that after i took care of it and said you know enough's enough after you know oh honest to god for this fucking ford you know these fucking front rotors i've gone through three pairs of front rotors mind you i only put twenty thousand miles on this car not even maybe 15. i got it with twenty five thousand. it's got 42 on it you know I've gone through, they were so warped, fucking shake the front end apart. I went through three pairs of front rotors. And not like I put 20,000 miles on each pair before they went bad. Like literally like two months later, my front end is shaking because the rotors are junk. I mean, who puts their name on that? You know, 
the fuck is this? And what the fuck is this? Why is this hanging off of here? I've never even touched this before. You know, this fucking weather stripping on here. Why? I didn't even see this until just now. Where does it even go? Why is it so fucking shitty? I just, I don't get it. How can you get away with building something like that? It pulled right off of this freaking, this, uh, uh, mm. It literally makes me like want to punch somebody in the fucking throat. Like who engineered this? Who? Who's responsible for this? You know, this motor mount here. What is this? Do I got to take this off to get my alternator off? Probably. Why? You know. Am I saying this car is perfect? No. No, it's not perfect. But I'll tell you what. We had a Jetta TDI that we picked up. It had 300,000 miles on it. And the only reason I'm mentioning it is because my mother wrecked that car. And I tore that car completely apart. Down to the... I tore everything. I tore the fucking seatbelt. Uh, everything. The freaking carpet, you name it, wiring harnesses all the way up and through there. You know, probably the headliner. We took the windows out of it, the doors off of it, the freaking hinges. I got hinges for Jetta. I got you know all the switches. I took the entire dash out. When you tear those cars apart, those German cars, I don't care what you think about them, but when you're unengineering it and taking it apart, they are absolutely brilliant. The, the way things go together, the way the wiring is done, it is, it's, it's a genius setup, okay? That green body, that was a new body. Didn't have a motor or a trans in it. I took that other car that was wrecked, I took the 300,000 mile motor and transmission out of it and put it in a new body, a new used body. And I'm, the car is still rocking. 300,000 miles on that motor and transmission. Still fucking rocking gets 50 miles to the gallon plus starts like a champ every fucking day yeah yeah it's had a couple issues i need to do some glow plug a new glow plug harness you know typical stuff but that both of the bodies were solid okay the red car and the green car both the bodies completely solid motor runs like a champ this taurus with that transmission oil leak how long do you think it is before I have to replace a plant pan or I fucking blow a tranny? Hmm? Oh God, did I just say blow a tranny? God damn it. I didn't mean to say that. It's not what I said. It's not what I wanted to say. Blow a transmission. That's what I meant. Blow a transmission. Don't blow trannies. That's gross. No, didn't do that. Definitely didn't do that. But yeah. I, I love this car. It's it's quiet. Well, it's not even quiet. I mean, a Chevy Impala is fucking stealthy. This car, you can. It's not quiet, quiet, but it's comfortable. It's a nice car to drive. I like it. But man, when I crawled under there today, I was just fucking fuming. But I had metal and paint crumpling in my hand. Ugh. God, I just want to fucking kill somebody. I, I just can't believe it. Can't fucking believe it. That is some shit right there. There. 20 minutes of me ranting about a fucking Ford Taurus. I should know better. I'm not saying it was a, it's a, you know, it's not classy. It's not, it's not cool. It's not sexy. It's not even, you know, I mean, there's, what do I have to complain about? I mean, it's a Ford Taurus, right? I just can't believe. The only shittier car I've ever seen in my life would be a Chevy Cavalier. Okay that might take the cake those cars were built so fucking cheap i don't even know I, how are they allowed to stay in business when fucking gm and chrysler were going under they should have let them fucking go under said you know what adios we don't need your junk i mean chrysler my buddy works at a chrysler dealership they can't even get it right now you know they got so many recalls on the fucking ignitions and airbags and you name it shit blowing up you know i mean what's it take to build a simple reliable car anymore is it possible? Do they know how to do it? You'd think after fucking 100 years they'd have it figured out by now. You know, Ford, they should have went out of business. They're just not the fucking dumbasses that fucking, uh, you know, wished, you know, uh, promised all these fucking pensions and shit for, 
you know, twice as much as people earned when they were fucking working. You know, fucking cradle to the grave welfare bullshit we got going on. I mean, <laughs> should have let them fucking fail. The only reason they bailed them out was because the fucking unions were crying like little bitches. Oh, yeah, 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 you know, we got promised all this money that we... Anybody, any fucking accountant could have told you that wasn't going to fucking work. You know. And uh, Ford, the only ones that didn't fucking take bailout money. Probably the only smart ones. That fucking government motors over here. You know. They can't build a halfway decent car to save their life anyway. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, they're, maybe their new cars are worth a damn. I don't know. But their trucks. Forget their fucking trucks. Fuck a six liter. That thing will leave you stranded on the side of the road any day of the week. You know. I mean, GM's the only one that really knows how to build a truck in America. You know, nice, quiet, smooth, powerful trucks. Dodge, fuck them. Dodge trucks suck balls. You hear that? They suck balls. Ford trucks, fucking rust buckets. That's all they are. The transmission and the motor might be mechanically sound if you're lucky, or one of the two might be mechanically sound, but the rest of the truck's going to rust apart on you. The fucking gas tank's going to rust the minute it leaves the fucking dealer's parking lot. You know. You're going to be driving down the road and the thing's going to be leaking gas all over the fucking place. The, the exhaust manifold, don't expect those to last more than three years. You know. Every fucking... I'll be sitting at the gas station getting fuel. Every time. You just hear the... Driving down the road, you look behind you. It's a fucking brand new fucking Ford exhaust manifold leaking like a motherfucker. Got pinholes in the muffler, you name it. Fucking right behind it, a little GM, a uh, nice, well, not a little GM truck, but you know, right behind it, just stealthy, smooth, quiet as can be. Just barely makes a whisper, maybe. That's what I'm talking about. But this Ford, this Taurus, you know, I knew it was. I knew it wasn't gonna last. I knew it was going to turn into a Ford. That's what I say. You know, it's nice now, but it's going to turn into a Ford eventually. You know, I just didn't think it was that bad. You know, when I saw the transmission oil dripping and the exhaust bracket completely rusted off and my freaking rocker panels, I don't know if that's what you want to call them, fucking completely, completely gone. Gone. Not even like solid metal somewhere and a couple of pinholes, but gone. Like, Dust in the wind, gone. It just, it makes me sick. Makes me sick. I, I, I... <sighs> makes me sick. And listen to this buzz bomb. It's fucking for it. Yeah, that thing. Oh, there goes a quiet Ford. First, first I've seen in a long time. That's a miracle. The guy probably had to completely rebuild that truck. Probably got brand new body panels on it. Probably frame off restoration on a 96 F-150. Just so he could drive it down the road nice and quiet. God damn it. Oh, and just to make matters even worse, I just found this. You look down in here, on this suspension arm here, with the ball joint, that the car is currently jacked up on the frame of the car frame of the car right there you see this right here see that fucking hole right there that's because there's so much fucking dirt and shit sitting inside of this fucking frame rail you stick your hand in there in the fucking bottom of the frame rusted through rusted through that's what you jack the car up on I mean Jesus Christ Ford you trying to fucking kill me like God damn, even fucking Toyota fucking recalled their fucking trucks and paid to have the fucking frames replaced when their fucking frames were had fucking little little tiny pinholes rusting through. God, get with it. And just just to pile more shit. And just to pile more shit on top of the fucking shit fucking Sunday we got going on over here. This car this 87 Buick Regal T-Type. No, it doesn't have the turbo in it. Don't worry. This car has like 90,000 miles on it. This car was probably driven in the wintertime. Not a speck of rust on this car. Yeah, I mean, I got the chrome needs replaced. And, you know, I mean, the aluminum brush steering wheel needs to be refinished. And, you know, but the 
fucking tires the radial gts i mean not the original tires on the car but you know replacements this car has been sitting for like 10 fucking years mostly in a garage it's been outside a couple years but these tires still fucking hold air this taurus this fucking rim this fucking rim i think it's the i think it's the valve stem but still these tires put them on there fucking leak you know this car interior immaculate fucking uh you know yeah some of this plastic is fucked up it you know it's it's old but this car yeah it's got some similar rust going on on the bottom but not nearly like that car nothing's rusted through nothing's completely fucked just some surface rust you know cosmetic shit fucking i can't even do the math on that car it's at least 30 almost 30 years old it's an antique Ugh. Mm.